In this simulation, we have a series of volumetric flasks, a balance, a hot plate, an indicator, a series of beakers and graduated cylinders, and a series of reagents to work with. In this experiment, you'll be preparing three solutions and performing a reaction with them. To prepare solution A, turn on the balance by clicking the button on the right-hand side. Click on the 50 milliliter beaker to move it to the balance. Then tear the balance by pressing the button on the left-hand side. Next, click on the malonic acid bottle and enter the mass of malonic acid you wish to add into the beaker in units of grams and record the mass of malonic acid from the balance. Next, click on the deionized water bottle and add water to the beaker to dissolve the malonic acid. Once the solution finishes dissolving, click on the beaker to transfer the solution to the volumetric flask. Next, click on the manganese sulfate bottle and enter the volume of manganese sulfate you wish to add into the volumetric flask in units of milliliters. Click on the deionized water bottle to fill the rest of the volumetric flask with deionized water. Then shake the solution by clicking on the volumetric flask. To prepare solution B, click on the first 100 milliliter beaker and move it to the balance and then tear the balance by pressing the button on the left hand side. Next, click the potassium iodate bottle and enter the mass of potassium iodate you wish to add into the beaker in units of grams. Be sure to record the actual mass of potassium iodate from the balance. Next, click on the sulfuric acid bottle and enter the volume of sulfuric acid you wish to add into the volumetric flask in units of milliliters. This volume will be added into the 25 milliliter graduated cylinder, so click on it to subsequently add it to beaker 2. Then, click on the beaker to move it to the hot plate. Turn on the hot plate by clicking the red button on the left hand side. Once all of the solid dissolves, remove the beaker from the hot plate by clicking on it. And now you can let the beaker cool down on the bench top for approximately one minute. Once the beaker is cooled, you can transfer the solution to the volumetric flask by clicking on it. Next, you'll need to add a small rinse of sulfuric acid to the beaker by clicking on the sulfuric acid bottle and then the beaker. Next, fill the rest of the volumetric flask with deionized water by clicking on the deionized water bottle, and finally, shake the flask by clicking on it. To prepare the final solution, solution C, click on the hydrogen peroxide bottle and enter the volume of hydrogen peroxide you wish to add into the third volumetric flask in units of milliliters. Next, fill the rest of the flask with deionized water by clicking on the deionized water bottle and then shake the flask again by clicking on it. Now you're ready to perform your reaction. Click on the starch indicator bottle on the bench top to select the dropper. Then click on the final 100 milliliter beaker to move the dropper over that beaker. Click on the dropper until it is empty and returns itself to the bottle. Next, click on the first volumetric flask to add 10 milliliters to graduated cylinder one. Click on the second volumetric flask to add 10 milliliters to graduated cylinder 2. And finally, click on the third volumetric flask to add 10 milliliters of that solution to graduated cylinder 3. Now you can combine all three solutions by clicking the beaker containing the starch indicator, and the reaction will progress. You can view the reaction and watch the video of the Briggs-Rauscher reaction.